One of these strategies has the ability to potentially turn $100 into $5,000 for a 50X return. Let's start with the lowest potential return, which is still over a 5X return, and we'll work our way up to the largest 50X potential trade at the end of this video. This first strategy is one that could potentially turn $9 into $50 in just one week. And of course, you're willing to risk more, you can always do more contracts. Now, here are a couple things you want to make sure of for this first strategy. First, with this strategy, we don't want stocks to move around a lot. So we want to make sure that there's no earnings announcements and no other major events coming up with the stock. Although my main option trading account, I like to sell options that expire in a month or two. With this trade, we're looking for potential quick home runs. We're looking to trade options that expire in one or two weeks. Here's an example of a trade that could be done right now in Intel, ticker symbol INTC. As you can see, over the past several months, Intel's been trading in a range between $32 per share and $25 per share. It closed out last night at $26.49 per share. As you can see, it's been trading around that level for about the past week and a half. So in order for this position to be a big win, we'd like Intel to end up around 26 and a half a week from now or this coming Friday. So here's the trade setup for this first potential 5X option trade. With Intel trading almost at $26.50 per share, we buy the next lower strike price, January 6th call option with the $26 strike price. That would cost us right at 77 cents per share. We would then sell to open two of the January 6th call options at $26.50, which is the option that's closest to at the money. And for the third leg of this trade, we'd buy to open the same expiration day, January 6th, the call option at the strike price above the two that we just sold, which would be the $27 strike price call option. Now what we've created here is known as a butterfly. Notice that the bid for this position is four cents and the ask is 14 cents. So we'd expect this order to get filled around nine cents per share. So for one contract, that would cost us $9 plus commission. Of course, you could do as many contracts as you like. Well, what could potentially happen here? This white dotted line is the potential profit based on Intel's underlying stock movement. Notice that this position will be profitable between $26.10 per share and $26.90 per share. The maximum profit would be if Intel ended up at the strike price of the two call options that we sold, which was $26.50 per share, and it did that at expiration, which is this coming Friday. Notice that as we move our profit and loss bar closer to the strike price of the two call options that we sold, $26.50, our profit goes up. In order to receive maximum profit, we would want Intel to be right at the strike price of those two call options we sold at expiration. If that were to happen, we could close this position out for maximum profit, which would be 50 cents per share, or since one contract equals 100 shares worth, $50 per contract. That would mean that we turned $9 plus commission that we had at risk into $50. That's an over 5X profit in just one week. And of course, anytime you do a trade, you want to know what your potential loss is. In this scenario, the maximum we could lose with the cost of the butterfly trade that we did or the nine cents per share or $9 plus commission for each one of those butterfly positions. In fact, since these positions only cost nine cents per share, we actually turn a profit if Intel's anywhere between $26.10 per share and $26.90 per share, not factoring commission at expiration. So our profit zone is about 80 cents wide we get maximum profit when it's at the strike price of the two call options that we sold at $26.50. If Intel is below $26.10 per share or above $26.90 per share at expiration, then this position will lose money. So this is potentially a good strategy to use to grow a small account or even to grow larger accounts on a stock that you don't think is going to move around very much over the next week. This is not a strategy I would use on a highly volatile stock like say Tesla is. This is a strategy that could potentially be good for those traders that want to aggressively try to grow their account. But this is just one tool you want to make sure that you have in your tool bag and at your disposal to use when the time comes up. I would strongly encourage you to not risk all of your money doing this. But if you want to consider risking a small amount to potentially make a big win, this might be a trade that you want to consider. Now the next trade is fairly similar to the butterfly we just set up, but we're going to adjust it a little bit so that we initially enter this trade and are able to put some money into our pocket when we do that. Again, this is a trade that we prefer the underlying stock, and in this case, Intel, that would be pretty close to where it's at right now at expiration, which is in about five days. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like to get paid anytime I do an option trade. So here's how we could do a trade similar to the first one, but actually walk away with money in our pocket up front and still have the possibility of a huge win a week from now. So we're going to stick with Intel here. 
He said that Intel is currently trading at $26.49 per share. If we go over here to our order tab, we're going to trade in the options that expire next week on January 6th. First, we're going to buy the $26 strike price call option. This strike is the one just below where Intel is currently trading at. We'll then sell the call option that is closest to where Intel is currently trading at, which is the $26.50 call option. And finally, we're going to buy the call option that's trading above that $26.50 one, which would be the 27 strike price call option. Now we're going to adjust the number of contracts that we have in this order. Because remember, our goal here is to not only get a potential huge win, but also to walk away with money in our pocket when we enter this trade. Now in order to do that, instead of just selling one of the January 6, 26 and a half dollar call options, we're going to sell three of them. Notice that this now turns this trade into a credit for us. But we don't want to have those extra call options naked. We want to keep our potential loss cap. So in order to do that, we're going to buy one more of the January 6, $27 call options. So to recap, we bought one of the $26 call options, which is the strike price just below where Intel is trading. We sold three of the $26.5 call options, which is the strike price closest to where Intel is trading. And we bought for protection two of the $27 call options, which is the strike price above the calls that we sold. Notice that Interactive Brokers is telling us that we should be able to do this trade and pocket 11 cents per share, or $11 for each one of those trades. Notice that since we got a credit initially, as long as Intel stays below $26 per share, we'll at least pocket that initial credit of $0.11 cents or $11. However, starting at $26, as Intel goes up in price, our profit will go up all the way to the call options that we sold at $26.5. If Intel closes out a week from now, on this coming Friday at $26.50 per share, we'll pocket the $0.50 cents for the call option that we own but we'll also get to keep the 11 cents per share that we received up front. So our profit will be approximately 61 cents per share minus commission or $61 minus commission for this overall position. However, if Intel ends up beyond $26.5, as the price continues to go up, our profit begins to go down. If Intel reaches $26.70 per share, this position will actually turn into a loss, even when you factor in the credit we received up front of $11. And then our max loss will be if Intel reached or went higher than $27 per share. At that point, we'd experience a $0.45 cent per share or $45 loss per position plus commission. But at least our loss would be capped at $45. So with these first two strategies, you just want to decide how important it is to enter this position with a small amount of money in your pocket with a lower potential loss. Or with this second trade, to enter the position with a credit and a bit larger potential win, but you also have a lot higher loss potential. Now the third strategy, it actually has the potential to 50X your money. By using it, you can possibly turn one or $2 out of pocket up front into $50. Now this is the exact same setup as our first potential trade, we'll be using a butterfly. However, the setup is a little bit different. Now contrary to the first two potential big win trades in which we wanted Intel to pretty much stay about where it's at now and be there a week from now, with this trade, we actually want Intel to move up some. With Intel currently trading at $26.49 per share, we want it to move up by $2 over the next week in order to realize our maximum profit. Is this possible? Well, I believe it is possible because notice here that Intel's previous support was right around $28.50 per share. And that's also around the area where the green 50 exponential moving average is currently at. So if Intel were to go up from here, it most likely would find resistance at least temporarily around that $28.50 area. So although we're going to do a butterfly like we did in our first potential big win trade, with this one, we're going to trade a different strike price in our call options. This time, we're buying one of the Intel January 6, $28 call options, selling two of the $28.50 call options, and then buying one of the $29 call options. As you can see here, and our broker is saying that this trade was last traded for a debit of one cent per share or one dollar for this whole position. Notice that the bid is a credit of two cents and the ask is a debit of three cents. So the middle would be a debit of one cent per share or one dollar for the whole position. Well, what could potentially happen? He said that as Intel moves towards that $28.50 strike price, our profit goes up. In fact, we're only at a losing position if Intel is below $28.03 per share or above $28.97 per share. And if it were to end up at $28.50 per share expiration, this one butterfly position would be worth right at $50 per butterfly contract, thus enabling you to 50 extra money or get really close to it. You'd be risking a penny or two, so you really don't have much money at risk, 
But if it ends up at $28.50 per share expiration this coming Friday, this would be a huge win. In fact, a 50x win. Please keep in mind that these trades, they're not suggestions. They're just meant to give you an idea of some potential trades you could consider to have the potential for explosive returns in a very short period of time. Please know what you have at risk in any trade you do before you do it. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like more details on how you can use butterfly options for explosive growth, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled Risk-Free Option Trading. Is it possible? Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.